Hi guys, my name is Jason Linder and this is my review of the Stella Pro Reflex S. So over the past week, I've been running around really, really testing this light, which I love to do. So what you're going to see is me using this in real world shooting conditions, using the light in continuous mode, using the light in flash mode with a normal battery and with the larger battery that they have. We're gonna show you the fusion options. We're gonna talk about the different mounting options, how you put this light onto a tripod or onto a light stand or C-stand. I'm gonna show you the different lenses that you put onto the front of the Stellas and how they make a difference. And we'll see if Stella can really hold up to that claim of a no recycle time flash. Something that you guys have heard me say for just so many years is find the right gear that works for you. In honor of that statement, I'm gonna give this light a very fair shake and an honest review. As we all know, Rotolite came out with the Neo3 and the AOS 2. And I remember being at the Adorama booth and people were talking to me and saying, hey, how does this compare to the Stella light? There's a Stella light over there. How do the Rotolites compare to the Stellas? I'm going to do a different video comparing the lights. This is just a review on the Stella. I also need to put a big thanks out to the ABC Photo Store and School for uh, sending me this light and, and hooking me up with the opportunity to be able to do this. And the good folks at Stella also reached out to me once they found out I was going to do this review. They said, hey, let's send you all of the things that go along with this light so you can really utilize it to its fullest extent and really understand everything that the light has to offer. So what is the Stella Reflex S light? Okay, to start off, it's a continuous light that also offers flash, kind of like I've been using with Rotolite. When I tell you, go up on your tippy toes. One, two, three. These images here were shot in continuous mode, just with my iPhone, and then it started raining. You gotta put it back into the window, flip it back. <laughs> <laughs> From a size perspective, it's similar to the weight and size of a traditional speed light. It doesn't have a shoe option, however, so you can't use this on your camera like you would a speed light. This is primarily for off-camera LED continuous or flash purposes. When you do use it as a flash, you can take your existing Godox or Ellen Chrome transmitter and connect easily with this light. Just fires. Pretty cool. The flash will allow you to change into different groups or channels, and you can add more than one Stella Pro at a time together on a shoot. So I'm going into high plus on my A7 IV. One, two, three, go. And as an LED flash, it also provides a no recycle time flash. All right, I'm not wanting to go through all these shots. There's not a single misfire. That's why LED flash is the future. In order to make any menu type changes, you hold on to this and then it gives you options to change. The Stella does not have a touch screen and also does not have an app. So all controls are done manually. The light uses an optics system that allows you to change the direction and intensity coming out of the light. There are five optics that you can buy for this light that really do make quite a difference Okay, let's take a look at the different lenses. This is bare bulb at full power. We're gonna put the wide angle lens on it now. Get a little bit of light on those fence posts. It spreads the light the widest, but it has the least directionality of light. Now we're gonna put on the medium wide. So now you see there's a lot more light on that inside fence post. Now we'll go to medium. You see there's a lot more light on that fence post in the center now. Now we're gonna go to spot. You can see that really punches the light in there, almost like a snoot. Now we're gonna see what happens when we just put on the dome. So it really is a really cool system to be able to direct the power and potency of your light. You have some key diffusion options when it comes to shooting the Stella. Here's the built-in bracket for the umbrella. One is by using an umbrella that conveniently fits into the umbrella bracket that's built into the flash. All right, lens first. Now let's try the bracket. All right, with the lens on, it should hold that umbrella a lot better. You also have options to use a Shamira softbox in either a 24 or 30 inch size. 
and it is custom made for the Stella. Now when you're using the speed ring, it has two little knobs, one on this side, one on this side. Just goes right like that. And once you've fed the rods in, which you gotta do the first time, takes about five minutes. Now once you've done that, if you wanna direct the light more, you can put one of the lenses back onto the light. You can then apply an inner baffle. And then if it's a cloudy day like today, you can apply an outer baffle or an outer layer of diffusion to soften the light even more. To take it off, you push this here and this comes off just like that. And they also have a Bowens mount option that allows you to use any of your existing Bowens mount modifiers with this light. This is the Bowens mount adapter. So this just goes directly onto the C-stand. And then the light itself, using the same little knob, just clicks right in like that. One point to mention is when you are using the Bowens mount adapter, you are not able to attach any of the lenses that help direct the light. For mounting options, you can put it on a C-stand, light stand, or tripod using a light stand mount. In order to mount it to your tripod, to get a brass bolt, screw it into the bottom of the quick release plate for the tripod, and boom, you're on, just like that. When it comes to battery options, you can use the battery that comes with the light that also serves as its primary base. You can also use a larger battery brick, which gives you longer battery duration and stronger power output. Both of these options connect the battery to the light using a simple USB cable. Battery performance is about 45 minutes for the small battery in continuous mode at 100%, and that about doubles when you use it with the larger battery. At the end of the day, what it really boils down to are the results. Does this light deliver? Well, let's check out the shoots. think of the shots? Push your comments down below. Let me know what you think of the shots, my friends. I think Stella makes a very good light. It really delivers quite a lot of light for the size of it. It's not as easy to use as, as a touch screen as something that I'm used to using. I do really like the softbox and I love the fact that the speed ring just fits um, natively right onto the head of the Stella. All of this being said, you will pay a hefty amount for this system. Price-wise, the light retails for about $1,100. By the time you get in the batteries, the optics, the modifiers, you're looking at around $2,000 for a well-equipped system with Stella, which is pretty expensive for flash. It really is. I mean, you, when you compare some of the Godox products and stuff out there, it's very expensive in comparison to, to Godox and stuff. But, you know, Godox's quality is, you know, hit or miss. Uh, I go through usually two to three Godox model lights a year, just to be fair. So who might want to take a look at this light? Well, it's made for someone who doesn't shoot in super bright scenarios where you normally use a traditional monolite because the monolite is more powerful and will serve you better in really bright conditions. This light will serve you well for using in cloudy outdoor environments or for indoor purposes where you want a no recycle time flash so you can capture up to 20 frames per second and not miss a shot due to the flash not recycling. And while this light is a continuous light, I would only use it as a backup option for video purposes due to the fact that it can't change white balance, it doesn't have any options for RGB, it doesn't have a touch screen, and it also has no remote control capability as a video light option. And I look forward to doing the review and comparison between the Rotolite and the Stella because at this point, um, those are the two biggest players when it comes to the LED flash market and it needs to be done. Let me know your thoughts. You guys haven't seen me use another LED lighting system in a long time, and so drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. So until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find out gear that works for you. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace.